What's going on YouTube and welcome back Uncommon Sense Fam and Clan. It's your man Uncommon Sense here and we're back again for another fragrance review. Happy New Year to everybody. Hope you all are in picture perfect health. You're safe, you're sane, you're happy. That's what we're about on this channel. We're about looking good, smelling good, feeling good, and being amazing. I wanted to bring an Uncommon Sense to you guys and it is... call the king of love i want you guys to make sure that you take a look around at the contents once you've decided that this is the place for you to be and it is i want you guys to do all three we want to like comment and subscribe every single day I came across this fragrance in my shopping journeys. It was a total blind bout for me. I said, let me pick this up and try to see what's going on with this. We'll see if it should be a part of the Uncommon Sense family clan, right? I picked this up on Amazon. I don't know much about who's the nose behind it, but it does tout all natural ingredients. So it's an eau de toilette concentration. The bottle is kind of shaped like a spade or a heart. The heart's in the bottle, if you can't hear that. You can kind of see them. And they're like little charms. It sits like this in the packaging. This fragrance is marketed toward men. You probably wouldn't know that based on the packaging itself. You may be a little skeptical. However, fellas, no, first and foremost, I'm not gonna steal you wrong. And then two, we're a little bit more adventurous with fragrances because we may be missing out on something good because it's packaged differently than what we're used to. There's pink on the bottle or all these other things that really don't make a difference in terms of the fragrance itself. The category for this one is a woody floral. It's a very warm, fresh scent. It's something that will probably be better worn during the springtime. It does have some similarities to some fragrances that I have smelled before. The difference with this one though, it does last a good while. According to the brand, they say make it your own. The fragrance of this interacts with your own pheromone. That creates a unique scent and will give you a sense of regality. I'm a stickler for regality. I love fragrances and things that make me feel kingly. So this was something that actually interested me because I'm a king and I figure, you know what? A king needs his crown. In this my experience, this one smells like a slightly more syrupy version of Yves Saint Laurent Long. Decent atomizer. It opens up very woody and floral and sweet. The opening on this one is kind of short lived and we speed right into the mid. It also reminds me of another fragrance I reviewed called Real Madrid by Airval. I'll post a card so you guys can check that out. Claims to have organic ingredients, no harmful or harsh chemicals were used in the synthesis of the fragrance subtly that makes it safe for daily use. Fragrances for men is completely made of carefully naturally selected organic ingredients like fruits and flowers. I did have an experience a couple months ago that was a little bit headache inducing, possibly because I sprayed it in the time when it wasn't in its season. So my first P, performance. I'm gonna rate this nine and a half. This one stuck with me for the better part of the day. I sprayed it on at about 3 p.m. to still smell it on me around 11 p.m. that night. Let's hang around and you get whiffs of it coming off of the skin. The first P, performance, I rated a nine and a half, which brings me to my next P, projection maybe about six and a half inches in your personal scent bubble right here it sits very close to the skin kind of like Yves Saint Laurent Long however this one lasts <laughs> for my second P projection I rated a six it sits a little closer to the skin mental projection but as I've said before I'm really liking fragrances that really sit closer to the skin so that I can personally enjoy them they don't all my fragrances don't have to be beast mode and I'm actually very fine with that in terms of if you're gauging the effectiveness of a fragrance I rate this one a six my next P play I got one compliment while wearing it for the first hour or so that I've worn it it's a little tough for me to for it to be right up underneath my nose so this is probably one I would probably spray along the back 
or on my shoulder so that way it's not right underneath my nose and I don't go in eyes and get tired of it. I rate it seven in play. I got one compliment. I enjoy the fragrance on me. It's good enough. It's like a floral amber combination of notes in the oak. Something in the mid makes me frown a little bit, and maybe my pheromones weren't gelling with it. Now, as I smell it right now, it's okay. It doesn't bother me as it did before. So either my nose has grown, or maybe it's just a different season for it. For the notes, in the top, we have fresh citrus notes of ruby, mandarin, orange, and grapefruit. In the mid, that's kind of cooled down by garden mint and spices. And in the base, we have leather, amber, patchouli, and white woods. So going back to that mid, it's probably the spices in it that are kind of, eh. It's an amazing fragrance that I actually really enjoy. My next P, price. The price on this one is about $25 on Amazon. I'll provide a link below so that you guys can get it through my Amazon affiliate link. I do get a small commission if you guys purchase from one of the retailers that I put below. If you're interested in this one, 25 bucks or less. I would definitely say give it a shot. All the notes I just mentioned, it gives this Eau de Toilette Femme a lovely fruity floral with a slightly leathery finish. I like the base a lot more than the mid. Ladies, if you're watching this, I feel like this is an ideal gift for your man, especially coming from you, because it will show that you put some thought into it and it'll also have that flair to know that I went out on a whim and gave you something fresh in them. My next piece, place. Where to wear this one? I feel like it's a close encounter type of fragrance. I would say date, hook up, something very intimate. I can see this as a safe office scent as well. If you wear fragrances to the office, this would be a safe office scent. I don't think it's off-putting. Once it settles down, it's a lot more versatile. The reason for the season. This one is indeed a spring fragrance. I don't see this one doing very well in the colder months. And actually when I sprayed this on, it was colder outside. So that may be where the headache inducing came from. The fact that it was just, it was possibly not the right season and the interaction was just, ugh. I don't see this one doing very well in the summer either because like I said, that opening is very sweet and it may turn up just a little sickly. The amber in this one <laughs> is a monster. When it's slightly cooler, Getting into warmer temperatures, I see this one being a excellent fragrance to wear during that time frame. My next peak price, absolute, I'm gonna rate it a 10. Less than $25 for a 3.3 fluid ounce. I like the presentation, the box, the bottle, even the atomizer is pretty decent. No qualms there. I'm gonna rate it a 10 there as well. Is it a cop or drop? That's what everybody wants to know. Is it a cop or drop? In my opinion, it is indeed a cop. For individuals who are just starting, this may not be the best fragrance to introduce them to fragrances because the complexity of this one is something that will require you to at least be familiar with fragrances. Also, I've noticed that young men who are just starting on their fragrance journey, they're not interested in florals at all. They're interested in fragrances that smell good and that's it. And that's totally fine. But as you evolve a little bit further in your fragrance journey, I think King of Love deserves a spot in your fragrance arsenal. So overall, I would rate this one a eight and a half out of 10. I definitely feel it's a cop, especially for individuals who are a little bit further along in their fragrance journey. So do me a favor, drop me some comments in the below. Have you seen this fragrance? Are you interested in it? And two, let me know what you thought of this video. So it's been your man, Uncommon Sense. I thank you guys for checking out this content and I am out of here for now and I will see you soon. I'm out, till next time.